Kia ora. My name is Dr. Shiva. I will be examining and mapping and cleaning your ears today. Mm-hmm. How are you? That's good. Okay. I'm just going to pop some gloves on. had your ears cleaned before. Okay. But not, not mapped. Okay. Let me tell you about the ear mapping experience and what's going to happen. So, I have this diagram of an ear here. What I'll be doing is assessing your ears uh, with the otoscope and the light, maybe even a magnifying glass. Getting an understanding for your ears, the epidermis, the ear canal, and using the diagram to map it out so that I can give you the most effective and thorough ear cleaning treatment. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be using two coloured pencils, so the regular lead pencil and a red pencil. Mm -hmm. One pencil will be for the left ear, and one pencil will be for the right ear. That way we can save on paper, but also distinguish between the left and the right ear. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to start with just the regular lead pencil. Before we begin, do I have your consent to touch your ears today? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a quick examination of the outside of the ear and just determine if there's anything that should be of concern that requires treatment or cleaning. I'll be using a light and a flashlight for that. And we'll just start on this ear here, okay? Perfect, perfect. So, if you don't mind, I might just scooch a little closer. Okay, good. There is a little bit of skin built up here, so kind of dry, uh, older skin that will just need a little bit of exfoliation, so we'll do that today. And that's just underneath the tragus here. Just located here. Mm -hmm. And around here, everything's fine. There's no sign of irritation at all. I'm just going to grab a flashlight. I'm just going to be looking underneath the helix area. And also looking into the triangular fossa. Okay? Perfect. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to be looking at the. Okay, so it's a little bit of dry skin buildup. It just needs to be cleared away. The air looks very good. Detergent. And the triangular fossa. 
and straight. You do have a little bit of a build up in the triangular fossa just underneath the crescent helix here. And there's a little bit under the helixes here as well. So just there. So everything else seems to be fine. I'm just going to move on to this ear now. So I'm going to have a look at the exterior again. Then once I've determined that, we'll move into the actual ear canal, which I'll be using the otoscope for, okay? again. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm, yeah, just a little bit. A little bit odd. Right also. And a little bit here as well. That's fine. Very easy to clean. And okay. So it does need a little bit of attention, so I'm just going to be circling here again, cleaning the triangular fossa. The helix is a little bit cleaner on this side, uh, but I will run it over with the exfoliant again. So I'm just going to put a little X there, just to show that it's not too much of a concern, but I'm just going to do anyway to prevent any further buildup. And to light the tracheus as well, there was quite a bit of buildup here, it was a little significantly more than on your other ear. It's fine, we can definitely take care of that today, no problem whatsoever. Okay, I've just got the magnifying glass here. I just want to have a look underneath the tragus just to get a really thorough understanding of what's going on in there, okay? Perfect, so I'm just going to go in like this. Just using the flash light. products you've been using, a new shampoo or anything. Yeah, we do see a little bit of redness here, but that is very easily taken care of. I'll send you away with a cream from this one, just because it is a little red. Don't want to get any infections here. Yes, these kind of irritants can come up all the time, especially if we change up the kinds of shampoos we're using, the kinds of cleaning products that we use, even the detergent washing detergent that you use for your, your paint pillows and your sheets, it can rub onto the ears. Just a little bit of irritation, nothing to be concerned of. It's not like an eczema or anything like that. Right, I'm going to be using the otoscope now to look directly into the ear canal, okay? Perfect. Again, let me know if you feel any discomfort, but this should, should be fine. build up in here. Yeah. It's just a build up of wax. It doesn't look too inflamed or anything like that. Everything seems to look just fine. It's just a bit of a wax build up. After we do the cleaning, I will be doing a couple of sound practices on you. So I would like to
finding that people have needed to repeat themselves quite a bit with you, or you've been finding that people have been kind of complaining that the sound might be a bit loud when you're listening to the television or to music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From what I can see here, you do have a bit of build up inside your ears, which again will be dampening the sound that you are perceiving. Mm -hmm. So. Inside the ear, there is a bit of a wax build up. So in here, there's quite a bit of wax build up around this area. You didn't feel any pain or anything when I was going in? Good. I didn't see any redness or inflammation in this ear, so thus far everything looks pretty good. It just needs a bit of a clean. There's quite a bit of redness. So, the redness is located here, but there is still quite a bit of earwax built up here. So what I have to do is give it a clean and then have another look to see what's causing the redness in case it is a perforated eardrum. No concern there, we could definitely treat that just fine. exfoliating detergent it will be used to break down any of the skin buildup that's on the outside of the ears mm -hmm. so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the product like so and I'm just going to apply it to this cotton round this cotton tip rather excellent and I'm going to apply some Outside of the ear, okay. Perfect. So, some now. And some now. And some. Excellent. I'll be using this to dab up any excess, okay? I'm going to go in and clean up some of the areas that I went down the diagram earlier, okay? Perfect.
That looks good. Taking a fresh cotton tip. some to this here. So how's that? And it does seem to connect. I want some big small bit skin. gentle around the area that I saw a little bit of thickness with. So I'm definitely going to prescribe you a green for this redness here. Just a cute hump of it. It'll just be a simple antiseptic green. Nothing too intense or severe. Okay. going to move into the ear canal. So, are you familiar with a tool like this? Okay, so this end will be used to kind of break down the earwax that's built up inside the ears. We'll be using an ear dropping solution that will help to break down that earwax build up and then use this device to very carefully kind of apply away then I'll use a cotton swab to wipe up the excess and then I'll use this fluffy tip here to just dust off anything that may be left behind and absorb any, any moisture that might still be in there mm -hmm. and then I'll have another look with the otoscope to see how everything's looking, especially on this ear and then we'll work from there perfect here is the solution for the inside of normal for your hearing to go a bit funny. I'm going to use this end. Just gently hold it onto the ear and work it to work. So 
give me a chance to take a look. Gonna let that sit there for a moment. And I will put some more detergent into this here. So this one have a little bit of the redness. The product or detergent I just used in your ears will help to deal with that infection. Just fine. There's no perforation there. You are absolutely fine. cotton swab. I'm just going to saturate it with the air solution. This will be used to mop up any excess air wicks. Fresh one.
a look. Now I'm going to be using this fluffy tip here to absorb any excess product that might be inside your ears. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm just going to have a look again. Yep, that appears to be all clean. That's very good. That's lovely. I'm just going to do this side now. Have a look. So, there's a little bit of redness still, but it is definitely deep behind the distance. I almost looked in there, which is good. That's why I have signs of improvement. It's excellent. Okay, I'm going to just do one last check with the magnifying glass and the torch. Good, and on the other side. That looks good. Remove my clips. How are you feeling? It's good. Okay. Good. Things feeling a little bit, a little bit more raw sounding. Okay. Definitely, at least sound had been paired by the build up in the ears, which is completely normal and totally understandable. Just want to do a quick sound test with this tuning fork here. So, what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes down if you can. Mm -hmm. You tell me when you hear the tuning fork and raise your hand as to what side it's on, okay? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. 
good. Uh huh. Yes. Excellent. You can open your eyes. Mm hmm. So everything sounds perfect. Does it sound okay to you? Excellent. Okay. Now, I'm going to prescribe you a cream as well. Okay, so I'm going to go with. So this one will be a subsidized prescription. It's for you. So we have to pay for what is the prescription fee. Mm -hmm. It's for you. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope things are feeling a little bit easier for you now and sounding a little bit easier. Have a wonderful rest of your day.